Welcome to today's Pick a Card. What do you need to know? I'm Trish. Please take a moment, choose from group one, two or three, and I'll be back with your weekly reading. Welcome back group one. If you've selected this card, then this is your reading. So the card that you've selected for what you need to know is that it's time for you to start teaching, sharing your gifts, or for some of you, it may be that you're needing to get more education or more learning. So there's some kind of learning or teaching that's needed and required for you at this time. First of all, I'm getting here, um, you're needing to call upon your spirit team. It's the center of the focus of this reading. So perhaps you're needing to get more knowledge about working with your spirit team or more knowledge in the spiritual areas. Could be that you've been doing it for a long time and it's, start, it's time to now starting to share your gifts with others about spiritual stuff and how to connect um, with all, connect with the universe. I feel it's a very important time for this to come, um, that energy workers are needed and teachers are needed as well. So I feel like if, if that's something that you've been into it for a long time, then it's time for you to start sharing your gifts, perhaps holding circles to raise vibration. But for some of you, it's all about just learning, getting this new knowledge on, on this area and how to connect to yourself and to start to use your spiritual side. So perhaps there's been some imbalance in your life where you're only using your mental abilities or your physical abilities. So now it's time for you to start using your spiritual abilities as well and primarily it's asking you to tap into your spirit team with which whether whether this is for you whether it's learning or teaching you're needing to tap into your spirit team during for this venture okay so it's saying time to take action we have the ace of wands and that means it's time to take action again on a spiritual level so the the suit of wands are the spiritual suit all about your spiritual being or your your spiritual essence or your spiritual path so here i'm seeing the ace of wands which is a path a new path forming for you path is um laid it's the suit of fire so it's a passion project it could be something you very feel very strongly in your heart but because we're the ones we're also about a spirituality so it's time to start engaging in becoming more spiritual or starting to open up these gifts a little bit more in yourself I'm seeing for you new opportunities, new opportunities in these areas is what I'm feeling for you across this middle of this spread. I'm feeling that it's time for you to engage in new opportunities to work with your spiritual abilities. Now above what you need to know, I feel it's more on a spiritual, on a, sorry, on a basic physical level. Now I'm seeing here that we have, first of all, we've got the brain card, which is also about learning and getting new knowledge, learning new things, having your feelers in different areas. So you could be trying new, lots of different new areas and new things. And it's like putting your feelers out there to what feels right for you and what feels comfortable because it's also a brain card. It's also about um, working, working with new information and new knowledge because we're joining the two together the card that you've selected today being knowledge as well as the card of the beautiful brain there so it's saying there's lots, lots of prospects going on for you or there's lots of prospects coming up around you in this area for you to start um, expanding your brain um, either sharing what's in your brain or um, expanding it and getting more knowledge and more information it is asking you to slow down at this time we have the stallion on one hand which is very fast-paced energy and then we have the slow the snail on the other side which is very slow so it's asking you to slow your energy at this time become more inward go in with and start um, tapping in and engaging with your spirit team is what I'm getting here for you group one now for some of you I'm also getting the new beginnings card so it could be for some of you new pregnancy or uh, related to pregnancy or birth it can also be then because it's right below the new new area of the ones ace of ones is always new beginnings and we're looking at new beginnings on a spiritual path so below that we have new beginnings so perhaps you are taking and taking your first steps towards a new beginning it's asking you to stop wasting time it's time for you to do this now so whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing it may not be spiritual it may be something else that requires learning um, or a new path that you're thinking about doing it saying now is the time that you need to do this stop wasting time so the longer you sit on this idea, the longer it will be before it manifests or becomes a reality for you. And in the meantime, somebody else could be doing this and you'll be sitting back thinking, well, I should have done it when I had the idea. So for, for what I'm getting for you is stop wasting time with whatever this is that you're thinking about doing. You need to start 
making steps to do this and small steps. We had the um, the Ace of Wands with its path already laid and, and it's just about making and walking those steps. So I'm getting walk the walk here as well. So it's not just talk the talk, it's time time for action now. We have the take take action card here which is time for action so it's not about talk anymore it's not about thought anymore it's now about walking the walk and taking action in whatever area that is for your life um, because it's a group reading it will be different for everybody for some of you it will be spiritual pursuits for others it will be new jobs or or new new people in your life or or new um creative or adventurous um, journeys that you're thinking about taking but it is saying that um, lots of new opportunities and new beginnings are coming for you group one and it's time to start start taking action on these now also we have down the bottom here it's time to trust the plan so um, it's like you need to take the training wheels off is what I'm feeling for you it's like just trust that you're going to be able to do this um, so yeah you could you may need to get some new learning for some of you there may be some a new level of education or a new level of um, learning some new skills that's involved but don't let that hold you back what I'm getting here is take the training wheels off and just go it's like don't 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 be held back anymore and it's time to do this now and just trust that your spirit team because we have center space here being the spirit team just trust that your spirit team is going to help you with whatever area this is if it's something that's strong in your heart a strong desire that you've been really thinking about and considering then it's saying that it's a hard action or a passion project or a meant to be type thing so it's saying that you need to take action on this now stop wasting time get yourself out there and do it and just trust that your spirit team is going to be there to help and support you during this process thank you for joining me group one i will see you again next week welcome group two if you've selected this card then this is your reading so what the message that you need to know is that it's time to now to start thinking ahead and start planning for your future and start having a little bit of strategy about where you want to be what you want to do and start working towards putting a plan together and get steps in motion okay so center base in your reading is the same as group one it's also spirit team so your spirit team is asking for you to start tapping into them now it's saying time next to that it's time now to really connect in with your spirit team i'm feeling a sense of kind of urgency around this it's like so i'm feeling a need now to start peeling away the layers or the box or the boundaries that have held you back from working with your spirit team or balancing out your mind body spirit so i'm getting here a sense that perhaps you've been too far grounded in what's going on around you or your physical your like your physical attributes or your physical things going on around you i'm feeling like now it's time to peel away those layers and start working with your spirit team now i'm feeling like it's also about raising vibration as well and i'm feeling like it's about um if if like light work is being called to action as in being able to spread and promote uh, positivity or help hold the balance of positivity in the world at this time so uh, that's what i am getting um, both for group one and two i feel like yeah the energies here are a little bit tied in together and it's about that call to action because we had the the ones the ace of ones in group one as well and i feel like it's like a call to action which i'm feeling bringing this in for you group two rather more so than group one but it's a call to action to start you know making sure your vibration's high making sure you're working with your spirit team here now i'm getting here um growth is coming for you we've got some growth um coming for you in the future it doesn't have to be in your spiritual area this can be in any area so it's about um, growth but it's saying just relax and let that happen naturally it's like don't push it don't be too um, we're not working in the ego is what I'm hearing so you need to need to not work in the ego or that powerful pushing energy it's about just chilling and relaxing and allow what needs to happen to happen so growth will occur for you that could be spiritual growth it could be um, any kind of growth but I'm feeling like that's going to happen when you plan i'm seeing the strategy card i'm being drawn over to the strategy card again so it's when you um, start thinking and planning as needed so it's saying um, growth is going to happen when you start actually taking the time to sit and relax we've got the chill card here to sit and relax and start thinking about what it is that you should be doing what your mission is what you want to be doing what you need to be doing and putting those plans in motion and start setting goals and and start to make this happen don't it's not a pushy thing it's not a thing where it's forceful energy it's a thing that where it just happens naturally and comes to you as it's meant to come to you but it feels as though you're needing to actually get it clear in your mind what it is exactly that you want to be doing or what you enjoy or what you feel is right for you at this time 
Now I'm feeling an opportunity coming for you for you to break free from boundaries um, where I said that you're going to be shedding um, obstacles and layers so like shedding things that have been holding you back I'm feeling an opportunity coming forward for you to break free from things that bind you or control you or hold you down it would be a bit of a shock when it happens whatever this happens um, you just have to trust that the universe is working in a very mysterious and strange way it may feel quite sudden and strange when it happens but it, feel, it feels like it's going to allow you to do what you need to be doing or do what you want to be doing. So what you're attracted to is what I'm getting. So we've got the B here as well. And the B is all about um, doing what you want to do or what you're attracted to do or what your heart's telling you to do. So I'm getting a sense here of something could play out for you that could happen quite suddenly and it could leave you a little bit shocked as to why has this even happened. But if you just relax with it and allow, because we had the chill card down the bottom, if you just relax with it, it's going to allow you to grow from this experience. There's lessons to be learned here, but it's also about it's going to help you release things that are binding you or bound you or holding you down. And it feels almost like it could be some kind of past programming. It could be, for some of you, it's actual physical things that are holding you down or people. Um, it's going to allow you to separate from those situations. But for some of you, it could also be um, like boundaries and obstacles. So when these things happen or these um, sudden unexpected things happen around you, it may not be actually happening to you. It could be happening around you. So you may be hearing of um, shocking news um, and it's all about just kind of tap into your spirit team at this time and allow them to help you stay um, in high vibration but it's also about allowing them allowing yourself the ability to let go of what's no longer needed in this life or what's no longer needed for you at this time so I'm feeling like a real sense of having to let things go or uh, that could be anything really that could be you know letting grudges go letting um old wounds go it could be letting physical items go it could be letting burdens or obstacles go but i'm feeling a sense that you're um unveiling or almost like um lightening your load or lighting yourself in some way by letting things go it's like you've been chained and bound by situations that you've gotten yourself into over time and it's like some kind something's going to happen that's going to allow you to break free from these now it may feel like a shock but it will be something that if you look at the glass half full you're going to find you're going to grow from this experience but you may also it may give you um the ability to be able to do what it is that you're called to do or you're attracted to do or you want to do so if you're looking at this situation on a more positive way it's allowing you to do your mission or allowing you to do what your heart's desiring so i am feeling for some of you it could also be um world like what's going on energetically in the world um and it's about trying not to be shocked not to um allow the shock to happen and and bring and tie you down so i'm seeing here um a shock card but i'm also seeing like this one here and it's like you're very bound by very very burdened by it all and it's about um, making sure that you're not being burdened by the energetic level of what's going on in the in the world at the moment perhaps even in the universe because I almost slipped through and said the universe then so it could actually be more like um, energetic universal energies that's going on right now so it's about not getting weighed down into that energy and it's about trying to work with your spirit team that we have here um, and and releasing any of those negativities what I'm getting here is letting go of negativities now for some of you um, you could be dealing with somebody around you that has cancer this is also my cancer card um, which could come up as a shock to you or there could be some kind of diagnosis or there could be a worry or fear of somebody that is going in for tests um, ever a fear of cancer now please know that's not everybody the strong um, the strong energy coming in from this read is about the burdens that's been holding you down or allowing fear to make you feel burdened and hold your energy down or being able to let go of the things that have been holding you down so thank you for joining me group two i will see you again next week welcome group three okay if you've selected this card then this is your reading and the message that you need to know this week is that you need to take charge and take your power back now i just done a little meditation on just this thing so taking your power back so um, that might be helpful for you to do so you can start reclaiming your energy back to you also about cutting any cords from um, people that have been draining you could be necessary for you at this time but it's mostly about um 
realizing who you've been giving your power away to and stopping and no longer doing that so returning that power back to you because it's going to be useful in upcoming adventures or upcoming energy that is required from you okay so the center card for you is all about um, reflecting and self-reflecting is going on here so it's a time now of reflecting and self-reflecting on what it is that's going on around you how you affect other people reflecting on your life reflecting on what it is that you um, need to be doing at this time what you'd rather be doing or what you want to be doing at this time um, i'm getting here a shift of focus coming up for you as well so it's like almost like you're changing slightly your motivations or changing slightly your um, the way you've done things the way you've always done things might be changing your perspective is changing in some way so you're seeing a situation in a different light or you're starting to um, look at things in a different way is what I'm getting so you're shifting your perspective in a, in a different way now I'm also going to have the card of the other side come through as well for you group three um, and that could be looking out for signs and symbols from loved ones on the other side so um, you know if you're getting like the numbers on a clock the triple numbers on a clock or if you're getting you know feathers on the ground or you're seeing little signs or little songs playing that remind you of somebody just acknowledge that that person on the other side is there for you at this time and that they're just popping in to say hello so just acknowledge any signs or symbols that's coming through from messages on the other side now I'm also getting here that there's some things going on around you that's not quite clear. If you had a question coming into this read, then the answer is no, um, because we have the moon card, which is my no card. So it's saying that at this time, things are not clear. It's like you're needing to reflect on this situation a little bit more. So look into it a little bit more. Think about it a little bit more before you go ahead with whatever this situation is. Now I'm getting up above. Um, for some of you, it could be you're thinking about fertility. Um, and repairing something around fertility it could also be that you're wanting to spend more time with the kids um, or something you've been spending a lot of time with children lately because we've got spend more time with you sitting next to the little buddies which is your children or or coming children fertility um, and as rekindle and repairing old relationships is sitting on top of that so there's some kind of structure where you're needing to work to fix relationships that um, around your around the dynamic of parent child relationships so perhaps there's some things there that need to change the perspective needs to change a little bit there or it needs some kind of um, catching up with with or spending a little bit more time with loved ones but I feel like there's some dynamic there that needs to be looked at from a different perspective or changed just slightly in that way now I'm also getting here to make wise choices and keep your eyes open so keep as I mentioned keep your eyes open for signs and symbols that's coming in from the other side because they are coming also could be coming through dreams as well so it's about keeping your eyes and eyes open to these things but I'm also getting here that you're needing to make wise choices and wise decisions so think about what you're doing don't just rush into things um, reflect on them as what I'm saying if things are not quite clear at this time you need to make think about them a little bit carefully and reflect on the situation a lot more I am seeing a little bit of anxiety coming up around you and perhaps it's funny because she's just doing that same post that I'm doing there um, <laughs> um, and I'm not anxious it's just um, yes yeah, so I'm feeling that energy of Perhaps something around you is making you a little bit anxious, something maybe that's going on in the world, something that's going on in your inner circle or something that's going on in your head. So whatever level that is, is something, some kind of anxiety that's going on around you. Now it's saying that you do need to protect your heart at this time. You need to... Um, not take it to heart. So whatever it is, whatever level that's playing out on, um, right down from outer to inner so universe through to the world through to your inner circle through to you um, whatever area this anxiety or this level of kind of negative energy or lower energy is playing out on it's about not taking that to heart don't take it in do not take that energy in protect your heart so put your filters up put your boundaries up take your power back take your energy back stop giving out so if it's like some fear-based thing that's coming in and making you feel energy what you're doing is sending your power and your energy out to this because you're thinking about it don't do that it's saying take your power back don't 
you need to protect your heart, take your power back. So don't be giving out, don't give in to the anxiety, don't give in to the stress or the the um, the fear-based um, anxiety or energy that's circulating at the moment. Take your power back, be strong and protect your heart. Protect your heart because that's your, your manifesting um, and your connection point. So you need to really protect that and, and tap in with your uh, people on the other side or your spirit team as well. Um, I am feeling that it's a, a being a sense of spirit team, not just ancestors on the other side for some of you it is ancestors for some of you it's your guides that have guided you that are ancestors and for some of you which form part of your spirit team anyway so what I'm feeling is that connection that you have with them you need to really engage in that and protect um protect the I'm getting a sense of needing to pre protect the connection as in um, don't let fear block or sever the connection that you have with your spirit team or your ancestors on the other side okay that's um, really out of the blue but that's what I'm feeling for you um, I'm feeling like yeah putting yourself in a bubble I've got the board card down the bottom but I'm getting that more of a sense of putting yourself in a bubble putting yourself into a positive energy bubble and not allowing any um, negative energy to penetrate now I did a like I mentioned the meditation for taking your power back and it was also about fluffing out your aura and removing anything from the aura um, that's attached to the aura so allowing yourself to have this beautiful big full energy and that's what I'm feeling for you group three being that beautiful energy bubble so it's like your, your aura is a beautiful energy bubble that only allows good to come through and not negativity so don't it's not letting you or it's asking you not to let negative energy come through your aura or your heart or your connection. So it's about being really positive and clean at this time. So maybe you do need to do a little bit of meditation work around cleaning of your aura and putting that beautiful protective bubble around yourself because um, you, you're not supposed to let it get to you at the moment. You're not supposed to let... Um, you're protecting your heart. Don't take it to heart. Don't let it get to your heart. So it's about protecting your energy at the moment. So yeah, I think that's pretty deep. Group three. Um, I think all of the readings have a little been a little bit energetically um, big this week, and it's about yeah, really just protecting yourself and really just keeping that really high vibration right now. So thank you so much for joining me, Group Three. I will see you again next week.